Oh, schade. Habt ihr gar nicht mitbekommen, äh, wer gewonnen hat. Da werde ich auch nicht äh, wiederholen. Das muss man ja auch nicht machen. Äh, bei uns zu Gast ist Flores von Bommel. Um, thank you so much for taking your time today to be here. I know you're a very, very busy person. Um, and uh, especially right now, because you have a new shoe, the Jubiläumsschuh um, for the 280 years of Van Bommel. We and do. you brought it. Maybe you can show it to us and tell us something about it. Yes. I have to be very careful. I know, because it's really, very special. It is very special, it's, yes. Maybe it's the most special thing ever in the world of shoes. <laughs> okay, if More you say so. If you say so, that, then that's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> no, so we exist 280 years. Mm -hmm. That's quite old. It so is. So to absolutely. celebrate it, I found this shoe. And you really did find this shoe right near, near where you produced the shoes mm -hmm. in the um, in a in a in the water, right? Or something. Yeah, near the water. But it w not me personally. I didn't dig. Oh in no, the not you. Person. But no. somebody found it. Yeah. Somebody found it, and it's estimated to be more or less 280 years old. But is it a Van Bommel shoe? No. Maybe. Oh, mm. or you don't know. No, it I could don't think be. so. It could Let's be, but that would is. be very coincidental. Okay, um, and you decided to take this shoe and um, make something that kind of looks like it. I'll hold it for you and uh, yes. while you take the one that belongs. So we made it again. We made a reissue. So there are quite some details. There's a funny detail over here because there used to be a hole here. Mm -hmm. So the guy who wore this shoe, he wore it for a long time. So there's a hole at his little toe. So there's a stitch around it. So they stitched a small piece of leather on it mm -hmm. and we put that also over here and then what's quite special i think for such an old shoe is that here there's a corner and that's like a decoration mm -hmm. so it's not 100 percent functional the shoe so they try to make it nicer than it should be mm -hmm. so we also made that decorational would angle you over there maybe would not expect for a 280 years ago that people were really looking at fashion but they were back yeah then. yeah it's already kind of fashion and also this is very straight angles it would be more normal to make it a little bit curved, but I made it very straight. Mm -hmm. so, so, the, uh, so it was a Van Bommel shoe for sure. Yeah, um, must I'll be. just tell the, our viewers, um, das, also this dieser Schuh is 280 years old, and so alt is auch die Firma Van Bommel for 280 years gegründet. Dieser Schuh wurde in der Nähe der Fabrik gefunden, äh, im Wasser vergraben, und das haben sie jetzt genommen und halt ähm, genommen, um äh, den Schuh nachzumachen. Haben hier, weil der junge Mann, der oder der Mann, der es getragen hat, hat hier ein Loch äh, reingelaufen und hat ähm, dann einen Stoff, also ein Stück Leder drüber geklebt. Das haben die dann hier auch gemacht. Und dass hier das nicht äh, rund ist, sondern eckig, war damals auch schon sehr stylisch. Also der Mann, der das getragen hat, war schon ein sehr stylischer Träger. Und vielleicht war es ja sogar ein Wommel-Schuh. Um, you, of course, have not been doing Wommel for 280 years, obviously. Um, no. You are the son, I think it's in the seventh or eighth generation? Ninth. Ninth, ninth generation. Ninth. Um, and uh, in like 1996, I think it was, you were sitting uh, with your father in uh, the office with lots of other people. And he said, you know, we have to be a little bit more modern. Um, we're going to do a new collection called Flores from Bommel. What was the first thought you had when your father said that in front of all these very important people in this meeting room? Uh, my first thought probably, oh my God. <laughs> and then my second thought, mm, cool. And then my third thought probably again, oh my God. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, did you have ideas back then already of what you wanted to do with the brand? And uh, would you ever have expected that it would go this far? No, I was I was still in school, so uh, we, it was just a small idea, the, the extra brand, because our regular brand is called Van Bommel, mm -hmm. so we added the florist part, and it was just one of the many ideas we had that day, and I didn't think much of it. Es war damals so, dass äh, die Marke Van Bommel etwas moderner werden sollte oder zumindest ein Teil davon moderner werden sollte. Und dann hat sein Vater einfach, als er noch studiert hat, ihn eingeladen zu einem Gespräch mit vielen anderen Mitgliedern der Firma und hat einem gesagt, weißt du was, du kriegst eine eigene Marke, das wird äh, Flores Van Bommel genannt und du kannst dann modernere ähm, Sachen machen. In den ersten Jahren äh, gab es äh, nur ein paar wenige äh, Schuhe und dann wurde es relativ schnell sehr bekannt. Um, what you've done is made it into uh, not just shoes, but kind of um, a way of life. Um, I think I think you've done it really well by incorporating actors, musicians, um, and making it a cool uh, brand. Did you do that so you could meet all these people, or was it more that you thought well, oh, we could sell shoes this that's way? That's one of the reasons, because I worked with lots of people that I really admire. Like mm -hmm. uh, our, our most recent uh, adventure with a singer-songwriter from New York. And I'm a big fan. I've seen him perform six times or seven times already. His name is Jay Brennan, right? Jay Brennan. And he's on your website as well. If you play on, go on Flores von Bommel, then you can see uh, Jay Brennan playing. I'll just press on play right now, actually, while we're talking. Um, there he is in the bottom. I'll make it big while we're talking. Yeah. There we go. There. So he's not a big artist, but I love him. 
So it's just cool to be able to do stuff like that. Um, actually, you interviewed him um, for the Music Express, and that's where you that's where you met him, right? Or did you know him? No, it was not a magazine. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, it was. But I did an interview mm -hmm. with him. Yes. Um, and you also work with Daniel Brühl, the the actor, and uh, many many other other people. Um, what Philip Lahm. Philip Lahm, exactly, um, for an AIDS uh, uh, campaign. Yes, for he has his own Stiftung. Mm -hmm. Philip Lahm Stiftung. Um, and what do the people say when they say, "What do, what does shoes have to do with an with the AIDS Stiftung?" Or you know, what what sh should I, as a musician, what can I do to help you promote your shoes? Do they say it's a good idea, or are they have kind of taken the back first, or how do they react? Uh, well, there are some people are surprised, but. The bigger the surprise, the more I like it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll translate a little bit for our viewers. Uh, also, er hat mit ganz, ganz vielen berühmten Leuten zusammengearbeitet, unter anderem Daniel Brühl, dem Schauspieler, oder auch mit Philipp Lahm für, eine, für die AIDS-Stiftung von äh, Philipp Lahm. Er hat auch mit einem neuen ähm, oder relativ neuen Künstler aus Amerika, aus New York, Jay Brennan, zusammengearbeitet. Und äh, den hat er entdeckt bei einem Interview, er hat ihn schon sechs, sieben Mal live gesehen und ähm, hat eben mit den allen Kampagnen gemacht ähm, und auch mit den Schuhe ähm, zusammen ja, also diese Kampagne äh, veranstaltet. Ähm, und ich habe nur gefragt, ob es für ihn, äh, ob, wie die so reagieren. Und die sagen, er sagt ehrlich gesagt, wenn sie überrascht sind, dann freut er sich am aller, allermeisten. Your shoes are very, very different, I think. Um, and, and you have different, you know, you have your sneaker um, line, which is actually was, wasn't from the very beginning, that came a little bit later. You have shoes for women, which is um, there in the, the flagship wearing store. I'm them. wearing them, I know, I'm so, oh I'm so lucky. Um, and uh, you, you open the flagship store in, in Cologne, where you present the shoes for women for the first time in Germany. You couldn't get them in Germany um, before. Uh, is it for somebody, for a man to make women's shoes, is it, is it hard to kind of know what we, what we girls want to wear on our feet? It is. Yes? <laughs> so how, how did you... Women are a big mystery to my man brain. <laughs> for all of you men, and you will I never figure it out. I don't understand what yeah. you think. <laughs> so we hired some new people. We hired some women, because mm -hmm. they understand better what women want. Okay. Um, so it really wasn't about what you men want to see on our feet, you really thought about what we wanted to wear. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Also, es gibt, wie gesagt, den Flagship, Flagship Store in Cologne, in Köln, auf der Ehrenstraße. Und da werden zum ersten Mal die Frauenschuhe in Deutschland verkauft. Die gibt es in, uh, in Holland schon, schon länger. Um, und uh, er hat dafür Frauen eingestellt, uh, weil die sich mehr mit dem Mysterium der Frau auskennen. Und uh, darüber werden wir gleich noch ein wenig sprechen. Erstmal uh, kommen wir zum Klickblick. Thank you so much, Flores, for your time right now. We'll talk in a minute. And uh, ihr könnt natürlich gerne bei uns in den Chat reingehen auf uh, nrw.tv und mit Flores sprechen oder ihr lehnt euch einfach nur zurück und ähm, ja, kriegt ganz viele Informationen vom Christopher. 